from all around you long. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. Joining us as our special guest today, we have Kate Shippers from East Geelong Netball Club. Welcome, Kate. Thank you. Um, we had you on here earlier in the year. It was quite a bit earlier, and um, you just had been settling in over at East Geelong, but now you've been there for... Compared to East Point, of course. Yeah, yeah. Point, yes. <laughs> I didn't say that I would East Geelong that. Time. Yeah, <laughs> East Geelong, yeah. Yeah. Now, I guess we haven't had you on here during this time, but you probably... East Geelong lost a few games where we had tipped you yeah. to win. Yeah, we had a bit what? of a mid-season slump there, yeah. I think it was almost. Yeah. And what was sort of happening there? Like, people out or is it just... No, I think it was just... Oh, I'm not too sure. We just sort yeah. of had a bit of a run where we just weren't playing the way that we had been playing and sort of just going with the flow and relying on what we were used to with yep. those previous weeks. So. But it's probably good that you had the run then and yeah. not now yeah. coming yeah. into finals because you guys are absolutely winking at the moment. Yeah. yeah, we feel like we're playing a lot better at the moment yeah. the last few weeks. I know that we talked about the Belfast Hill game and the score, yeah. the margin there because yeah. we said there was a, a massive difference between Winch, where it would be Belfast Hill, and the bottom yeah. few of, of the ladder there that are fighting out for the fourth and fifth position. But you guys took it to them in that game. Yeah, it was a great game. We yeah. had um, we felt that we played really well and yep. we sort of went into it, I suppose, compared to some of the other weeks in some ways, that we just were like, we have nothing to lose. Yeah. Um, yep. just but that's just exactly right. Away. And teams like you have nothing to lose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's great practice for you guys going into the finals and, and making up these, you know what you're going to come up against. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you obviously perform better when you've got teams like that to compete with. Yeah, I think we do because I think um, instead of sort of, I don't know whether it's the nerves or anything like that yeah. that sometimes comes out with um, the big games, but we just sort of don't think about it and just we got nothing to lose, just go out there and yeah. give it our best shot. And sometimes we've been, well, we have been playing yeah. a lot better netball. So big game this weekend. Yeah. You, you're sitting fourth on the ladder. Yeah. Um, you were sitting comfortably. Oh, yeah, I think we're fifth, fifth now, aren't we? No, you're fifth now. So fifth, 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 yeah. fourth sorry. last week. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, so you're playing Carayo. You did beat them last time, 57 to 38, back yeah. in round eight. Yeah. All coming down to percentage. It is. It's very close at the end of this, well, this at the end yeah, of where we are, game. the last yeah. Yeah. few um, teams there. So, yeah, we're hoping to have a big win. Um, yep. We've sort of changed the team around. We've got a few different positions and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, over the last sort of, after that sort of mid-season slump, we've yep. sort of had a bit of a change around. Yep. Um, but I think we're playing really well at the moment. And as sort of shown the last few weeks that we have sort of just where our confidence is that little bit back again after yep. those couple of games yep. that we drew um we lost um i think after the bell post hill game um our confidence sort of grew off that and yep. i think we're going on the right track at least for and the finals to come mel bragg played down in the defensive end yeah um, in that game yeah we've swapped uh, her and i've swapped them yes. with right. um, i've gone into the goals and yep. she's gone into the and so that has made a big change, has it? It has a bit. I mean, Mel plays defence in Melbourne anyway, yeah. um, so yeah. it is her predominant position. Yeah. And against, you know, um, when we're playing Belfast still with the height yeah. up and then her jump is just, um, oh, it's, it's great to yeah. have down there. So, and then putting me up the other end, I suppose, just a bit more strength and um, stability maybe for the, because we've got a very young team and sort yeah. of just having, and especially in that attacking end, so having just someone with that little bit more, I suppose, Slight more experience yeah. Yeah. Um, to just yeah. sort of help settle it down in those tougher games. Even that level head down there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shay's still shooting. Yeah, she's it? shooting. Yeah. Yep, and she's doing very well. She's like the main goal. Sometimes I, you know, going in for the goals and got the long ones. I've got cool contact one. I put it down for her to take because yep. it's just um, she's you that kick great. And you just want to shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's well. <laughs> yeah, no, but she's yeah, she's a great shooter. And with um, I'm fighting with Erica, my sister playing in the mm -hmm. centre. I'm finding she's making me do all these nice big runs all the way down into the goals. There's just that sisterly instinct that yep. I sort of look at her and I know she's got this look and she's like, you're under the yep. ring in about one second because yep. that's where the pass is going. So, so you're lucky she's not yep. going to hurt your head, really. Well, that's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that <laughs> but happens happens yeah. 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 So coming into the finals, how many got qualified for each final? Uh, we've got nine, yeah. So you have got the nine? Yeah. Yeah. And no injuries with anyone at all? No niggles? Nothing? Not at this stage, no. I'm hoping that's yeah. touch wood that that will be the right for the rest of the season. Well, for the rest of, obviously, this last week and then the next week, the final. So. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And yeah. Nicole's still training you out there? Yes, yes, we're still training. Yes, we're still going hard. We had a few weeks where we were put with the footballers and getting a bit yep. of a grueling session <laughs> with them, doing all their fitness. Which that was, was on the field, wasn't it? Yes, on the field. That was yes. on the field. Yeah. So um, <laughs> after those couple of losses, we get put through the, um, you know, run 8Ks before you start training type thing with the footballers and yep. do all those sort of hard So coming up to this week, you've got Karai, which is 
culture. Yes, I was hoping, yeah. yeah. We know the moves and all that. Yeah. And some of the players. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How's the confidence coming into that game? I think we are pretty confident. I yeah. mean, you don't want to be too confident because otherwise, you know, in recent weeks, obviously what has happened with us throughout yeah. the middle of the season. So I never think we're going confident anymore after mm-hmm. that because you just never know week to week what can happen. Yeah. And all it means, you know, it takes is, you know, and what I'm finding now, I used to go into games, never be so uh, as nervous as what I am a little bit now because mm-hmm. in the end, goals are the things that um, win you the game yeah. in the long run. So I, for me, I'm sort of a little bit more nervous every time I go into games, but um, all it takes is, you know, hopefully that we can get our goals in the day and mm-hmm. um, that we all do have that confidence together and um, play really well as a team, which yeah. will then lead well into finals for us. And by the looks of things, you, you should make finals, like looking that everything goes <laughs> right for you. Yes, hopefully. Of course, it all it, it does. Yeah. It's it's the other game. game. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you've got um, Colorado, yes. which we're sort of a bit where I'm tipping you guys. Yeah. And I'm hoping well, I'm tipping you for a few years. You guys have been really unsteady throughout the season. Um, I just want to continue, and I think these guys are really performing. Mm-hmm. And then you've got Bankburn in North Geelong, which I think will be a close game. Yeah. So I think by the end of today, it will we'll be a fourth. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Is that the game plan, hopefully? Hopefully, but I mean, fourth place, fifth anyway. So it's sort of a bit of a much sense, really, to um, pick which spot we get. And better be just the who, I suppose, um, yeah. whether it is Bannockburn, whether they will stay or whether Belmont will yeah. have a slide in there. It'll be just that. So. And your thoughts on Winch, Hill and Werribee? Well, I mean, we've they're games that we've actually played quite well um, yeah. when we have played yeah. them. You tend to like so we, yeah, yeah, we yeah. sort of do. We sort of pressure. yeah, I think we do. We sort of um, thrive on that. You know, take it all, just nothing yeah. to lose. Just go out yeah. there and play our best that we can do on the day. And yeah, so I mean, in the end, we'll just have to wait and see. But um, take each week as it comes with the finals. And mm-hmm. if we get there and we give them a shot, we're going to give it at all, our all. And mm-hmm. I mean, that's all you can do. And hopefully we. Might be able to make a bit of an upset, but yeah. who knows? Yeah, it's, it's I think finals are a funny thing. They, they are, yeah. So many things can happen. Yeah, so look, we're with you. I want to really wish you all the best. Yeah, so, thanks. absolutely. Yeah. But thoughts on on who would probably be the hardest team there? Because I know Werribee have really settled and yeah. yeah. down in this last. I, I think we've sort of had um, that's probably been our biggest losses yep. against Werribee. Yep. We, um, as you know, the third bell post, we weren't too bad. Yep. Um, we did quite well, and same with um, Winch, we weren't too far behind them. Yep. Um, so Werribee's sort of been our big because they've got sort of that um, that mid court that they've all played together yeah, and the way yeah. that they can um, just read yeah. off each other and play yeah. really well that's probably yeah. our yeah, yeah absolutely well we wish you the best of luck today thank Obviously, you yeah um, fingers crossed we get through yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah. you know if you do make it through to the finals you go to the final series and then we'll probably be chatting to you later if you are yeah. um, yeah. you know it's going to be exciting it'll be exciting yeah. to talk about. Yeah. Nice and close promise. <laughs> but good luck with it all. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. No worries. And we'll be back on the We are the readers from all around your lawn.